In the last lecture, we have done how can design the controller for the plant, which are basically the single input and single output form. Basically, we designed the controller for the Dutch roll motion. And in today's lecture, here we are going to discuss how we can come up with the transfer function for the system, which are basically represented in state space form. So the topic is transfer function based linear control system. This is very, very important topic because um, in this course, basically we are doing the, we are designing the control system for the plant, which are basically in the single input and single output form, CISO form. In the second half of this course, we have come up the system, which is basically in state space form. If you look the both the longitudinal motion, linearized equation and the lateral dynamic lateral and directional motion in both the cases we had a system x dot equal to ax plus bu form so the system can be multiple input and multiple output form what you have seen also but in the first half, we have discussed the aircraft attitude control problem. Aircraft attitude control using transfer function method. So we had system i theta double dot equal to u. So here theta is the basically output and u was the control input so now the question is how we can convert the system which are basically multiple input and multiple output system or state space form to the transfer function form once the system is in transfer function form we can apply the linear controls to design the linear control systems for the plant so here the question is how we can come up with the state space model to the transfer function how we can get this form and once you have this form we can apply the linear controls or if i say classical linear controls classical linear controls so here uh, this is the subject of study in this uh, lecture how we can come up the uh, transfer function for the system which are represented in a state space form so here here we'll we'll assume so some assumption first this is the assumption how we can convert to the transfer state space model to transfer function part so first assumption is y as the output and u is the input we are assuming both having dimension one dimension is one so here what does it mean so the system x dot equal to ax plus bu and y equal to cx plus du. So let me discuss on this part a little bit. So here dimension of x is a number of states are there and the output dimension we are assuming there are let's assume q number of output are there and a dimension of a we are assuming n cross n matrix and b dimension n cross p and c dimension q cross n and d dimension q cross p so here uh, based on the number of states 
the A matrix will be from N cross L, the square matrix will have. So here, a D generally we are assumed to be zero. Zero. So let me write why it is zero. If the system y d u cross p is to zero. So in this case, fit through or fit forward matrix. This is also called fit forward or fit through matrix. In cases, cases where the system model does not have a direct fit through Fit through, or we can say fit forward and D is the zero matrix. So the system we are considering most of the system, there is no fit forward or fit through in the system. So that's why we are will be assuming system. X plus B U and Y equal to C X. So here, what does mean the dimension one for the here for the output and input? So here, what you are assuming is this is the system. Here you have system instead called X plus du the output from the system basically x and which is dimension r n so here we are taking an output if you if it is the output equation y equal to cx based on the entries on c we can get this output y of t will be the function of x so here Suppose we have x's which are having x1, x2, for example. Uh, if the C matrix is chosen to be 1, 0, and x1, x2, just two vector, so we'll have only x1. So we are getting only output will be y equal to x1. And if the C matrix is 0, 1, if C equal to 0, 1, in this case, y of t will be x2. So based on the entries on C matrix, we can define the output equation. And also we are assuming there is only one input in the system. So for example, we have system x, x1 dot x2 dot equal to, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, and we have state vector x1, x2. And we are assuming the B matrix, suppose 1, 4, and U. This is how we are defining. So there's there's only only one U acting on the system, whole system. So this is the assumption we are considering to how we can get the transfer function from the state stress model. Now let's go back to our state space equation, x dot equal to ax plus du and if you if you take Laplace transform Laplace transform with zero initial condition initial conditions so we can get s x of s equal to a x s plus b u s. So here we are assuming initial conditions at zero. 
and from this equation you can write s x s minus a x s equal to b u s and from this further we can write um, x s equal to we can write or if you take common x s from both the term s i minus a equal to b u of s and and from the output equation we have y of t equal to c x t if you take laplace transform with zero initial condition y of s equal to c x s of s and we can write um, x of s equal to uh, we can write c inverse y of s so now what we'll do is in place of x of s we'll substitute this term so we can write c inverse y of s si minus a equal to b u of s and from this expression we can write y of s divided by u of s c si minus a inverse so this is the terms of function which relates between the output y of s input u of s. So we are considering this is basically single input, single output equation. Now we'll take a simple uh, example and how we can come up with the this across to get that also function at school example this is very powerful because uh, most of the practical control system are CISO and the mathematical derivation we are getting in the state space form now uh, this is how we can come up with the state uh, transfer function we can apply our linear control techniques what we have discussed in the first half of this course so example is we have system x1 dot x2 dot equal to 1 1 0 2 this is the state matrix and state vector x1 x2 and the control matrix 3 4 mm -hmm. and only controller u of u is acting the dimension of u is 1 and from this we can get the and uh, the dynamic equation x1 dot equal to x1 plus x2 plus 3u and x2 dot we can write to x2 plus 4u so this is the dynamic equation and from this we came up the statistics model and here we are assuming let the output be the state variable x1 of t. So only x1 of t is the output from the system to be measured and output and the output equation based on this consideration the output equation can write y of t equal to so only x1 of t we are measuring. So the C matrix can be designed like this, 1, 0. And we have straight vector x1, x2. So if you multiply, you will get x1 of t. The question here, find the tensor function y of s divided by u of s or here y of s basically x1 of s divided by u of s this, this is the this is what you have to find solution so here uh, basically we will apply the systematic way of getting the transfer function via the formula Let's see what you have derived in the previous slide so here we'll apply 
g of s equal to y of s u of s equal to c into s i minus a inverse b. So this approach will apply to get the this transfer function. So here we'll go step by step. The transfer function here y of t equal to x1 of t. So c is 1, 0. So we have our c matrix. So now x1 of s divided by u of s, we can get c, the formula si minus a inverse b. And if you substitute all the matrices in this equation, so we have C matrix 1, 0. And we have identity is basically dimension is 2 plus 2. So our S matrix will be 0, S. And minus A matrix is 1, 1, 0, 2. And this is whole inverse. And B matrix is 3 and 4. And if you do the mathematical manifold inside, we'll have 1, 0. And this would be S minus 1, minus 1, 0, S minus 2. And um, this is inverse and 3. 4. And from this further we can get 1, 0, 1 upon s minus 1, 1 upon s minus 1, s minus 2, 0, 1 upon s minus 2, and 3 and 4. And further we can write 1 upon s minus 1. If you multiply these two matrices and 1 upon s minus 1, s minus 2, 3 and 4. And if you further multiply, we we'll get 3 by s minus 1 plus 4 by s minus 1, s minus 2. And from this, we can get 3 into s minus 2 plus 4 divided by s minus 1, s minus 2. And from this, we can write 3s minus 2 divided by s minus 1, s minus 2. And 3s minus 2 s square minus 3s plus 2. So we have the transfer function which is x1 of s u of s equal to 3s minus 2 divided by s square minus 3s plus 2. This is the transfer function which relates between the x1s and contrary with u of s. So this is how we can come up with the transfer function for in the given if the system is represented in the state space form. So there is another method, method we can also apply. This is called brute force method or the it is another name is the Kramer school, another method. This is called root force ad hoc method. So here we have system from the state space model we can get our system x1 dot equal to x1 plus x2 plus 3u and x2 dot equal to we have to x2 plus 4u. And if you apply the Laplace transform with zero in this initial conditions, we'll have from this equation, we can get S x1 S 
equal to x1 s plus x2 s plus 3 u of s and from this equation you can write s x2 s equal to 2 x2 s plus 4 u s if you further simplify from both the equation we can get s minus 1 x1 of s equal to x2 s plus 3 us and from the second equation s1 sorry s minus 2 x2 s equal to 4 us and from these two equation we can write in matrix form s minus 1 minus 1 0 s minus 2 we can write x1 s x2 s equal to 3 4 so this matrix this state space form we have written from this two equation dividing both side by u of s if you divide sorry it will be u of s if you multiply here so dividing both side by u of s we can write s minus 1 minus 1 0 s minus 2 and this is x1 s divided by u of s x2 s divided by u of s equal to 3 4 and um, here we are interested x1 by us we are interested to find the laplace sorry toss of function with respect x1 s with respect to u of s so here apply grammar's rule we can get x1 of s u of s equal we can write a determinant of the 3 4 the this matrix will come into the first column minus 1 s minus 2 so this row will come in the next column and we will take the determinant of this this matrix s minus 1 minus 1 0 s minus 2 so if you if you take the determinant so this will be determinant again this will be determinant so you will get 3 s minus 2 plus 4 divided by s minus 1 s minus 2 and from this we can write 3 s minus 2 divided by s minus 1 s minus 2 and 3 s minus 2 s squared plus minus 3 s plus 2. So if you notice that both the terms of function from both the concept remain to the same. So this is how we can find the transfer function from the state space model if the state space model assumed to be single input and single output equation and this is very important because once you have the transfer function we can apply the linear control techniques and techniques what you have done before suppose this is our for this particular case we have system yeah 3s minus 2 divided by s square minus 3s plus 2 and the output here we are assuming x1 of s and this is our control input u of s and this control input can be given by the controller and this is basically the summing point plus minus so this is basically feedback 
x1 of this and this can be x1 desired and this is how we can design the controller here and this controller will track help to track x1 of s to x desired so this part I already have done in the first half of this course how we can design the control system if you are having the plant in transverse function form so let's stop it here. We'll continue from the next lecture. We'll come up with a different system and how we can come up with the transfer function so that we can apply the linear control techniques. Thank you.